So today, as you see, we are talking about how to use the internet productively because I see many, many men struggle with using the internet for entertainment and not for building a business or acquiring knowledge. I think the, the internet is cool because you have knowledge that it took literally thousands of years to get that information. You have that just on your phone that you can carry around everywhere. So the idea of the internet is cool, but what it's been morphed into is a bastardized version of that. And it's been used for just downright degeneracy. And that, let us get right in with the problem. The problem with the internet is that it keeps you constantly busy and that you constantly have this feeling of being productive. Many YouTubers have probably told you, you feel good when you use the internet, but that's not necessarily the reason why you use it. You probably use the internet for the same reason I used it in the entertainment way for months, if not years of your life, because you feel busy doing it. If you are like me and you are trying to build um, a business or a YouTube channel, then you probably will have this period of time where you think about, I need to get as many people to watch my content as possible. And therefore you go onto Instagram and Facebook and all these apps and say, I'm going to go on these apps and post every single day about my YouTube channel. And I did that and it didn't work. It didn't bring any more views in. Um, and it just wasted a bunch of my time and diminished my mental health for months of my life. And what I'm thinking about every single time I, I realize this, I have this realization of me doing this. I think like, why am I doing this? Because the product that I'm essentially giving you here is mental health. The reason I know the things that I tell you is because of good mental health, because I have the creativity that I only have because of my mental health. I didn't build this thing out of fucking um, just genetics or something. I'm not genetically gifted when it comes to creativity. I'm only creative because I put in the work to get good mental health and good mental health makes you creative for finding solutions for bad mental health. And this is what I'm giving you here. But if I myself have bad mental health, then the product suffers and therefore my videos get worse when I use Instagram a lot. This is why I have now deleted the app fully and this is what I would advise every single one of you to do. The next problem is autopilot. You probably know this, you have nothing to do, you stand in a group setting and suddenly just pull out your phone, just unlock it and just go on Instagram. And the problem is it's gotten faster and faster because the phone market is very, it's, it's very important for the phone market that your phone essentially breaks as fast as possible. So you buy the next one faster and therefore they want you to switch it on the most, like more times a day, because if you flip it on more times a day and the battery drains faster, you have to load, charge it up more faster and more often essentially. And therefore they make all these processes to open it up faster. They make you charge it every single night or something. And the problem with that isn't only that you spend more money. The problem is that your attention is harvested by your phone. You have built up muscle memory that directs you directly to Instagram because it's still on the same space on your phone. Like when you, when you think about how do I get onto Instagram, you probably know the pattern, right? You swipe up on the iPhone, it scans your face and then you, you swipe a little bit and you click on Instagram and then you're on it. And that's muscle memory. It's the same thing as if I ask you do bench press, you don't have to think about, okay, how do I go down? How do I come up? You just think bench press and your, and your, your brain in the same sense as you just think bench press and not go down, go up. It doesn't think swipe, swipe, click. It thinks Instagram. So you need to deprogram your brain and I'm going to show you a protocol and a habit to do later on. So the next thing many people struggle with is what to do when you stop, because I have done this oftentimes. I have had this sort of fuck this event. Um, so a fuck this event is an event where you simply can't take it no more. And when you think that everything is so fucked that you need to take radical action right now. And then I, and I thought to myself, what is the problem that I face? 
Well, it's social media addiction, right? And then I went on my phone night after night and deleted Instagram when I was like 15 years old or something. But I didn't know what to do the next day. And I thought to myself, well, I don't have anything to do. Let's just go on to Instagram. And I'm going to help you with that problem exactly later in the video. So let's now get to the solution. The solution, the first solution is just in time information. And we're going to and we're going to solve all the problems that I showed you on the previous page, point after point. So the first thing that solved this I'm busy thing, right, busy with social media thing is just in time information. And just in time information works like this. You have a problem. Let's just say you want to learn how to brush your teeth or any problem you might name. And then you go onto YouTube and look for the salvation of that problem. You look for solving the problem of how do I brush my teeth better? And the way many, many people think is I go to the gym, let's watch a gym video and let me then learn something. And the rule that I have applied for myself, if I can't do it right there and then, I'm not gonna watch a video about it. So if you, if you can't train right now, don't watch a video about training. It's only going to waste your time when you want to train. And when you want to train better, pull out your phone in the gym and watch the gym video in the gym where you can actually say, okay, this guy's doing this exercise. This guy's doing bench press with a reverse grip. Maybe let's try it. Let's go. And the thing that I'm talking about here isn't not educating yourself isn't not getting information. I'm talking about getting information that you can actually make use of. So that's the first point. Always ask yourself, can I implement this at least today or even better? Can I try it out right now? The next thing is meditation and meditation basically puts off this autopilot mode because autopilot is basically you let your intrusive thoughts win because you don't have the choice to stop thinking them. Meditation will train your brain in a way in which you can control which thoughts you allow and which thoughts you don't. Mindful meditation, which is the meditation type that I teach, you can meditate in thousands of different ways. But, med but mindful meditation is essentially this observation meditation where you look at your thoughts and you think, Okay, how do I think about these thoughts? Sometimes I get these thoughts, these rebellious thoughts, like let's just abandon God or something. And I used to freak out at this and pray for, for deliverance from these thoughts. And I pray to God that please stop giving me these thoughts. Can you please help me with these thoughts? I don't want to think like that. And then I discovered mindful meditation. And mindful meditation isn't just thinking about nothing. It's trying to think about nothing. But when you think about something, observe the feelings you have towards that thought. And when I discovered this, I thought to myself, okay, I don't want to do this. I'm more scared to say this right before. And I just had this information of my brain right now thinks let's abandon God. Let's slap your girlfriend in the face. Let's just jerk off or something. But then I realized, hey, I'm actually scared to do all these things. I don't want to do them. But my brain provokes me my brain thinks of it because it's scared of it. And also this fear of when you're jumping right on, on when, when you're like standing on an edge, and there's like a, a long way down and you think like, Oh, what if I jump down? It's the same thing. You think that thought because you're scared of it. Not because you want to do it, probably, hopefully. And mindfulness meditation will help you with exactly that. The next point is filling the void. And filling the void is probably the thing that will help you the most to stay off of it. Every idiot can have an FTE, so an event where he thinks he can't take it no more with Instagram and delete it off his phone in his little masculine, courageful moment of the day, and then stay off of it for the night and the next morning, don't have anything to do, go on it again. Every fool can do that. Let's do it smart. Let's fill the void with something that is actually helpful. 
What I'm talking about here is something you have probably heard before and it's self-improvement habits. Now you can do many habits, but I would advise you look how much time are you currently spending on Instagram, on YouTube, on these apps that is spent destructively. So not time that's spent productively researching things, which is probably like a percent of your time. But be honest, how much time do you spend with nonsense that doesn't um, in that that isn't just in time information? How much time do you spend with that? Probably not much. And then look for a habit that can replace this. I would advise meditation, journaling and reading. Now, reading is this habit that you know how to do. You just get a book and read it. But I would advise you do it this way. You read a method book and a story book. So you read a story book of stories of people, right? Many, many stories, like short stories and like like a poem or something, like little short stories that are like 30 pages long that you get for like a cent on Amazon. And you don't read them fully. You read them until they get the solution to their problem. And you read a method book alongside that and then you try and solve the problem of the person in that book with the method you learned in the method book. For example, you read the personal MBA. This is a, this is a business book about, um, about marketing and sales, right? And then you read a book about a poor person who's trying to start a business. And then you think about, okay, how would the principle, how would the methods from the book Personal MBA help that person? Or you read How to Win Friends and Influence People. And then alongside that, you read a book about a guy who's trying to get friends or about a guy who's trying to get a girlfriend. And you think about, okay, how could this person solve their problems with that book? And this is how you're going to learn not only to, to understand the principles and the methods from the method book, but also how to put them into practice. Yes, you could read more from the method book if you didn't do this, but your learnings are going to be way more effective. So try and do that every time you think about what can I do right now? I have nothing to do. I might as well scroll Instagram. It's going to morph into, I have nothing to do. I might as well learn. And you can do this in micro sessions. You can also do this with past chapters or the, or with people in real life. You can think about some guy on the street and you see him having a problem. And you're right now reading a method book like power by Robert green. And you think, how could that guy solve his problem with the methods from this book? How? And you, you constantly solving people's problems, what you can also do, and now you probably see why I do this YouTube channel thing. You can also try and solve people's problems online. So you identify a solution for a problem that is online. So on some Discord server or something, and you read a method book alongside that, and then you try and solve the people's problems in a video that you, you, you don't even have to upload it, but you just solve people's problems with the methods from a method book and you will learn how to use it in your own life. Now, a disclaimer. This will take time and this will be hard and only the people who truly want it, they are going to get this. They are going to get mental health and I'm not going to tell you that it's a side habit to get unaddicted from the internet. You have to think about it this way. You have been structured, you have been manufactured to be addicted to the internet because this is the best source of money right now. You don't need to make a real product on the internet to make money. You can make money out of thin air, of just knowledge in your brain how to do something. You can just make a meme page on Instagram and make thousands of dollars with it. You can. Sure, it's hard, but you can because everyone is manufactured to go on to Instagram, to go on to TikTok. It's social programming that everyone does this. The websites of them are made in a way in which it makes you addictive. The color gradings in there are designed by literal psychologists. So your attention is harvested. 
the little badges when you when you have an app. So here's WhatsApp and here's like a little badge with a one in it. That color of the red in that badge is literally made to want you to make you want to click on it because it's an intrusive color, right? It's a color that you are attracted to that you want to click on. So it's not easy to deprogram your brain from this because it's natural human instincts that all these things play upon. Do you wonder why all women on Instagram are a little bit sexually like open, sexually free? Because this spikes your interest as a man. Why do you think car salespeople make photos of cars with hot girls standing in front of them? Because then you want to buy the car more, then it draws more attention. So now that you've understood that it's hard, you also have to understand that it is going to take a long time. This is not going to be a, a one week thing. At best, if you're very, very disciplined with this, and if you do all the things I told you today, you are going to be able to do this in two weeks. So it's going to take a longer time than usual gratification does. But I promise you, in a future day, you will look back upon yourself right now doing this and you will be so grateful that you did it. So just trust me because I have went through this my, myself in my own life and I'm thanking myself every single day that I was smart enough to do this, that I didn't say, oh, it's just a scam. Oh, it's just stupid. It won't work for me. So try this right now. If it doesn't work for you, you can write a comment that my video is bullshit, but it will work for you if you do it in the right way. Now have a nice day and be mindful.